Next up, coming out uh, February 13th, is Alita Battle Angel. I'll read you the uh, synopsis. I'll see if I can get through this. There's a lot of big words, and my mouth is full of marbles. So, Alita is a creation from Age of Despair, found by the mysterious Dr. Ido while trolling for cyborg parts. Alita becomes a lethal, dangerous being. She cannot remember who she is, where she came from, but to Dr. Ido, the truth is all too clear. She is the one being who can break the cycle of death and destruction left behind from Typhurus? Typhurus? But to accomplish her true purpose, she must fight and kill. And that is where Alita's true significance comes to bear. She is an angel from heaven. She is an angel of death. I am not excited about this at all. I haven't read any of the comics. I haven't followed any of the stuff. But this trailer looks so boring to me. What's your Does opinion? it? Yeah. This movie is going to be a movie that I'm going to see. Uh, you know, movies come out on Thursday nights. This will be a movie that I see on Thursday night. Yeah. Are yeah you, this is going to be some, some, something I've been waiting for for a while since the very first trailer. Are you? This movie. Have you read the comics? It's not an anime, no. right? It's just the comics. I think. I don't think they've. Uh, read I have no idea what the origins of this of this uh, movie is okay. at all. Yeah. So this is PG thirteen. It's two hours and two minutes long. Uh, directed by Robert Rodriguez, which I'm not really a fan of. I like Sin City in right. high school. Right. Now I'm not like rewatching it. I was like, oh, this actually isn't that good. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of everybody that's involved with this flick. Yeah. From James Cameron, it's James Cameron, John Landau. Um, uh, the trailer's going on right now. And then also, uh, like you said, Robert Rodriguez. I think he's a, he's a fantastic director. Is he a good storyteller? I don't know. That's it's that's uh, that's different. I yeah. don't think I don't think he wrote them. I don't think he wrote the movie. I think he just directed it. Um, yeah, he just directed it. James Cameron and yeah. uh, Landau are the ones who wrote it. James Cameron right, was so. supposed to direct it, but then mm -hmm. with his commitments for Avatar two, he stepped down. So he just produced right. and wrote it. Wrote Avatar it. two and three, <laughs> which is so right. so unnecessary. <laughs> that <laughs> oh, maybe depends on if the story is good or not. Well, the first one wasn't. You didn't like the first one? No, I didn't. Did you? The story? Uh, yeah, I liked, the I liked visuals, it for what it was. The visuals are cool, but the story yeah. was terrible. We'll have to talk about that on a different time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. Like, like, like when it comes to Avatar, the only reason that Avatar was as um, successful as it was is it was a mixture of the technology and, and the story. At the time, the story was wasn't was okay yeah. right I, I get it it was a very simple story that's been told several times but and they, couple they didn't even try to they didn't even try to hide that it was a simple story they named the the mcguffin the unobtainium yeah <laughs> <laughs> well the thing about it though is is, is uh whenever i saw the movie uh -huh. it, i was i was so because we had you know we have uh, imax theaters around here so i saw it in imax and like I was so engulfed with the the 3D in the movie, yeah. and to my knowledge, there hasn't been a movie like that since Avatar. There's been people that have tried to do it, but I don't think I do not think that um, anyone's ever done it since, to my knowledge. Yeah, not nothing on the same scale, nothing that right. you know, culturally as significant as that was. Um, but so Kenneth says the trailer looks good for Alita, but he he doesn't know the anime, but he's gonna see it. Yeah. Um, it looks like a fun movie. Yeah, I. So my issue again, I, it comes up with me and Taylor a lot, but is with the CGI. I like when CGI right. makes things that aren't real seem real. That you know, you it's in the background and you you correct things here and there. I hate when they use CGI to make real things look fake. And her bug eyes and you know, just it, there's just there's a weird weight to everything um, when you use CGI. It's just not ready for this level of uh just work like did you ever see final fantasy the spirits within no uh, that was a completely cgi it was supposed to be photorealistic and it just looks bad like right the games look better but uh the <laughs> sorry kenneth is throwing me off with those comments do i like flowers and sunrises i i guess <laughs> I feel like he's doing a poem for me. 
and and blockbuster mondays so <laughs> you love them the it does look like it's cool it kind of feels like stories that have been told where you know with like the born identity and stuff like that um I'm right not a fan <laughs> of the original stuff so i don't have anything um to go off of with that maybe if i read the comics i'd be more interested but this one i'm gonna skip what are you, what's your well, I, well with with this though is in the day and age that we're in uh what kind of original story has there been in a really long time you know uh, yeah no i agree I, I mean it's hard but there's the I'm trying to think of something that felt really original and it's it's hard to pull one but it right, right, right. i understand what you're saying but i mean you could pull one out of like a hundred that are all yeah. the same story like you know when it comes to the marvel <clears throat> movies right? all the marvel movies are the same thing yeah the dude the girl the bad guy the fight at the end yeah the guys went in credit scene you know none of the marvel movies except for maybe the the avenger movies themselves change that formula yeah yeah and so what i'm saying is there's a lot of negatives for alita for me with the cgi yeah. and all that stuff and then the premise fills not fresh or not new so there's nothing really like drawing me to wanting to see it right um, well this is going to be a day one viewing for me yeah yeah i, I think, will be seeing maybe. but uh, if you guys have seen the trailer if you've read the comics if you know anything about it let me know what you guys think in the comments below and uh, we'll be back with our next trailer <laughs>